Well, I tend to believe that I'm an evangelist for nonfiction writing. I grew up as a standard literature major just thinking you could only write poetry and fiction, and then I stumbled into grad school and took a class called The Essay, which I had taught or been taught that it was a boring thesis driven five paragraph thing and this essay I'll argue X, Y, and Z. In conclusion, I've argued X, Y, and Z. And then you get wild people like William Hazlitt who writes an essay called On the Pleasures of Hating. And I thought, oh my God, it's like reality television. I haven't recovered. You've got Virginia Woolf writing why you need a room of your own to do your writing. Then there's great nature writing that comes through in nonfiction and, and true stories well told in my own life have sustained not only my imagination but my activism, my engagement with the world and have given me permission to try to have a hand in shaping conversations that I think we need to be having, aren't having, should be having. And that comes out of some of the best nonfiction writing in this country. We can look at James Baldwin and his just incredible body of work. We can look at some fun essays to read, like Gay Talese's Frank Sinatra Has a Cold. So there's a variety of ways of approaching nonfiction that, for me, I always find it to be like a spring bubbling up underground. It's adding new water, new refreshment to the conversations we should be having, how students can see themselves in a writing world. Sometimes we don't think we are creative, so we can't write a good sh fictional short story or that we're not poets, but we might have a crazy great aunt that we really want to write about or that family picnic that we've been going to for years. And we'll see models throughout the tradition of nonfiction writing that give us permission to share not only our personal stories, but maybe when the gossip's really good, stories of other people as well. So I haven't thought of writing beyond nonfiction ever since encountering it, because it's taken me everywhere from newspaper op-ed writing to lyrical nonfiction writing to breaking forms and writing an essay structured by the blood sugars I've experienced as a type 1 diabetic. And that all comes out of the great tradition of nonfiction writing. So I hope whoever is listening to this will maybe understand that it's really where the action's at and they should get in the hot tub of nonfiction writing. <laughs>